This is the Sunday School lesson for April the 7th in the year 2024. The name of the lesson is Amos. If you know the Old Testament books, you get in the middle and you get Psalms. Then Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos. And I have Amos because he comes after Elisha. And we just had the Elijah and Elisha stories, but he comes before Isaiah. So we're going to spend one week talking about Amos. And this is the story. The memory verse is, seek good and not evil that you may live. And the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you. It comes from Amos 5, 14. <coughs> so Amos lived near Jerusalem, which is in the southern kingdom down here. But while he was taking care of his fig trees and farming his land, taking care of his sheep and his sycamore trees, the Lord said, I want you to go clear up to Samaria and I want you to be a prophet because those people up there are disobeying me. So he listened and he left his farming and he went up there with God's message. <coughs> he got up there with God's message and he started his sermon by telling the people of Israel what was going to happen to their enemies, okay? He said, um, for three sins of Damascus, oh no, for four sins of Damascus, God is going to punish them. And everybody clapped their hands. Yes, yes, yes. We're glad they're going to get punished. And then he said, for three sins of Gaza, no, for four, I'm going to punish them. Oh, yeah, we want them to be punished. Everybody clapped their hands. And then he said, for three sins of Tyre. No, for four of their sins. I'm going to punish them. And everybody clapped their hands. And then he said, for three sins of Teman. No, for four. That's Edom. They're the cousins of these Israelites. And it's getting closer to home. And they're thinking, oh, God's going to punish the people of Esau? Wait a minute. And then he says, the, for three sins of Ammon, and no, for four, I'm going to punish them. And those are their cousins too. And then he said, for three sins of Moab, and for four, that's their cousins too. I'm going to punish them for their sins. And then he said, for three sins of Judah, no, for four. God's people down in Jerusalem, where I just came from, God's going to punish them. And then he said, for three sins of Israel, no, for four, I'm going to punish them. And that is us. What? God's going to punish us? What did we do? And he said, because you sell needy people to get a pair of sandals. You don't help the poor. You're not faithful to the person you're married to. You use God's name in vain. <coughs> You take a man's coat as a pledge and then you lay on it while you're all getting drunk and the man has to go to bed with no coat on and he's cold. I am the God who brought you up out of Egypt. I led you 40 years in the wilderness. I sent you the prophets like Elisha and Elijah and you never obeyed them. You always said, we don't want to listen to Elijah and Elisha. I am just weighed down by your sins, Israel. It's like a wagon that is too full and the whole bottom of it is bowed out because you just don't pay attention to me. I am like a roaring lion. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. I want you to stop being so rich and care for the poor. You have a winter house and you have a summer house and you crush the needy and you go get drunk. Your houses are made of ivory. And other people are starving. You're not being very kind. I tried to give your attention, get your attention by giving you clean teeth, which means I didn't give you enough to eat. I held back the rain and you didn't come to me. I gave rain in some towns and not in other towns, and it still didn't make you turn around and come back to me. I sent a scorching wind, but you didn't come back to me. I sent caterpillars to destroy your crops, but you didn't return. I sent plagues, but you didn't return. I made your camp smell so bad, but you still didn't return. Prepare to meet your God. I am the one that made the mountains. I created the world. And I'm telling you, I'm the one that turns dawn into darkness and darkness into dawn. I am the Lord. Seek good and not evil that you may live. 
and the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you. Your worship is fake. I'm not going to pay attention to it. Your songs are fake. I'm not going to listen to you sing anymore. You are going to be picked up out of Israel and taken into exile where you can't worship God anymore. You sleep on ivory beds and you lay out on a couch and you eat lamb and beef and you don't pay any attention to God you're supposed to be worshiping. God wanted to wake them up. He sent locusts and he sent fire and he sent Amos to talk to them. King Jeroboam went to Amos and said, you get out of here. We don't listen to prophets like you. He says, I'm not a prophet. I am a farmer. I take care of sycamore trees. I grow figs. Do you know what, King Jeroboam? You are just like this basket of rotten fruit. You are rotten. And you say, let's get done with the worship service so we can go and cheat somebody again. So we can go and sell our junk. Someday there's going to be a famine and you guys are going to be so hungry and you're going to wish that you could hear God. But you can't because you will not obey him. Dear Father God, help us to seek good and not evil that we may live. Help us, O oh Lord, to always obey you and to listen for your voice. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>